I keep a poodle or Malamuda shih tzu if you listen and keep one in the bedroom and one up in the kitchen. Got a doberman for my dog, man. Ain't nobody getting them old bitches. Then a little bit my hoes and there's a couple when the COVID hit. I had to get it in the bubble. Meals I'm fly like couple. Never humble. I'm more good than trouble. Look, it don't always work out, but it's it was it sounded good at first. repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Only we won't be playing as a dragonborn. We'll be playing as Ulysseel. I'm not exactly sure if I can change my name either, so that could be problematic, but it, it's fine either way. Uh, so we'll be playing as a Dark Urge. And it basically is the, the evil horror playthrough of the game. Our race, half elf. Okay, boom. Curious and ambitious or some shit. All right, we got, uh, got a couple of abilities here. Militia gives us our uh, proficiencies and mostly pole arms, dark vision, 12 meters, and fey and strategy, which means with magic. We'll be playing as high elves. Ooh, we're hoity-toity. Uh, Firebolt will be our high elf cantrip. Now, we do have a couple of choices here. I even looked at uh, Bone Chill because it felt a little thematic, but the character that this particular playthrough is based on would not have that ability uh if you want i do have a backstory up for this character as well i uh <laughs> it was my first attempt at a project so <laughs> go easy on me um i also did a episode one for this already realized i didn't have it on dark impulse so we're starting over and i'm going to try to be a little bit more inclusive so here are the basic stats we're going to keep going quick though all right, we are playing as a bard. Boom, we use music. All right, now, when it comes to spells, I've already done all of these. It was a toss-up between Vicious Mockery and Tasha's Hideous Laughter, which is available. So we have a couple of different spells. Animal Friendship, my character wouldn't do that. She'd probably kill a cat or a dog if she got it. She's not a nice person. Um... <laughs> I had a little bit of difficulty role playing her in a group full of like lawful good, neutral, uh, good characters. So the reason that I'm going to take uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter is because I want to have Healing Word, which is a bonus action. If you look at the bottom little purple area of that tab, um, Dissonant Whisper is going to be our boss killer. Heroism is just an awesome buff. Awesome, awesome early game buff to have. And I'm going to be mostly disengaging from the battle and like picking people off with uh with my fireboat or my uh what's my spell called? Yeah, it is fireboat. I was right. Yeah, so I'm going to take vicious mockery because of the fact that it is psychic damage and nothing else. Fire is probably one of the most uh like uh, resisted abilities in the game. So being resistant to fire is perfectly fine if I can get my four damage in, possibly I should say, with my vicious mockery. So that is what our spells are gonna be. We're gonna take the healing word, dissonant whispers for strong attack, uh, that for buff and that for utility. Somebody's gotta speak to animals, might as well be me. Of course we have our drum on our back. 
background is locked, which is actually affecting our, our ability just a little bit here. But we do, from this background, received a proficiency in medicine and intimidation. So our ending uh, skills end up being pretty, pretty damn close to what I, what I would have envisioned in the first place anyway. All right, so these are our stats. As you can see, I could change them up a little bit. I'm not too big on this 13 in Constitution, but it is what it is at this point. We might take a half feat. I think I'm gonna end up taking for my first feat, though, a uh, Mage Initiate, most likely with a, uh, a Druid, so that I can get access to uh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, Hex I really like as a spell, and We'll see what else. I might take Mage Hand or something useful. Uh, skill proficiencies. Uh, these are our skill proficiencies. We've got negatives in athletics, of course, because we are not very strong, which means our jump is going to be pretty much a beat and nothing. But these, this is this is exactly what I want. These one, two, three, four. Yes, those those four are what you need as a bard to get it go get it going. I can if I can't intimidate you, maybe I can persuade you. If I can't persuade you, maybe I can trick you. If I can't trick you, can I perform the money out of your loincloth? We'll see. We'll see. Either way, that is the character as far as looks. Same character, man. We, we got freckles, yeah, because I like frecks. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a freckle fan. Uh, tattoo is a little thematic. The rest of the outfit, not so much, man. My character would have never worn anything even resembling this. Oh, and do I have the right? Oh, yes, my genitals, yes. I want vulva C. Yes, I do want vulva C. High clothes, I'm not going to do it. You got to buy the game yourself in order to see that. Look, I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to wanna do my uh, my lover or whatever. My obsession will be basically tiefling. Uh... I don't know. I kind of get an African American descent from her. She's got the ice spice going on. Not red though. Either way, I'm happy with it. Let us. Uh, the intro was the same. I don't know if it's going to be any different. Let's see. Let's find out.
The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right baby all right look we're playing our evil playthrough here i don't know what that means exactly could you Time to press all right ahead. stop playing stop playing stop playing uh so i guess we just kind of play the game as normal here my setup is all different here so you gotta bear with me a little bit I, we know better than to touch this thing ever this again but we'll look at it thing came from see the what's darker so let's do writhing behind your eye Investigate. Uh, sure. Let's go. Hey, Matt, twenty, baby. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, uh, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. All right, I'm not taking that hit for nothing. I don't care. I noticed that my hair had a reddish hue too. Uh, I hope that's not the color I chose. That would be kind of what is this? Hyena ear. Oh my god, freaking hell! All right, sure. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. We're just gonna take it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is that if nothing happens different, I will just make a sizzle reel. If anything happens good, I'll let you know. How about that? to save us from this place from this place you'll free us the exposed brain quivers in expectation Please. Ew. before they return they return a newborn born new from this husk you realize you're talking to an intellect devourer a minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. The enemy! So many enemies! Remove us from this body! From this case! Free us! Yes, it dies. The brain won't budge. Good. through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squall, you are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. 
Together, we might survive. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Ain't that the truth? I hope. You 
drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. This is my character, fam, I'm telling you. Alright, hold on here. Let the grin fall across your face. Push the smile away. This is vile. Try to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. Oh. I don't know if I'll make that. This feels like home. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that evil. Shadow heart. Let's see if he has any hard feelings. Blast it, Dora! What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. You're the one who left me to die on the ship. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Anger, bitterness, a will to survive. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing in your head. Did you miss the part where we were hurling, hurtling through the hills? I had to save myself. Left you to die? I don't have a clue what you mean. Yes, I felt this before. Uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah, I felt this before on the ship. If I were to guess, the things they put in our eyes. We'll need to find a healer to help us. But first, we'll need to survive the wilderness. I'd hoped there might be useful supplies through here. But no luck getting in so far. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. <gasps> it's a bunch of us's. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it'd be nice to have another hand in a fight. I think that is what I'm going to choose. Because I, I honestly, I like Shadowheart. I really do. I like her character and she'll be useful. Uh, from what it looks like, you can handle yourself just fine. You know, if anyone else is, yeah, look, just come with or me. just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I'm the Dark Urge. Let's make haste. Something in me tells me I'm the Dark Urge. Your name is unusual. Uh, best to pool our knowledge is what do you know about the tadpole? Very little. Supposedly, those monsters breed by planting their tadpoles in people's heads. Over time, the infected victim turns into a mind flare. I don't remember how long it takes, but we should hurry. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, you know, I think I take my chances without you. No. How'd you end up on the ship in the first place? Uh, much has lost to my mind. My name is the Dark Urge. Uh. That is none of your business. Okay. I, I suggest we concentrate on surviving. That's very true. All right, fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and say my Lead name is the Dark. Way. Her name is Shadowheart, and my name is The Dark Urge. And this is basically where I was when uh, I left off. So this is where we will pick up for sure here. <laughs>